And as you swing your arms up, let, the, let that just pull you around into a turn. Hey guys, thanks for watching. On the left hand side of your screen is Rod Pampling, who's won on the PGA Tour three times. And on the right hand side of your screen is Marcus, who is coming to our Be Better Golf School on May 18th and 19th at the Windsor Golf Academy. For this school, we're doing something a little bit different where we're having all the students before the school send us a face on and down the line video of their swings so that we can do a full pre-assessment before school starts so that we can really hit the ground running and we can take care of a lot of things that might just be setup issues or other basic things so that during the school we can really make some amazing progress. So Bill Canodal, who is the lead instructor at the Windsor Golf Academy and a friend of Rod Pampling, put together this swing analysis for Marcus so that between the lead up time to the school and when school starts, we can really make great progress. If you guys would like to sign up for the school, there's still a few spots available. Go to bebettergolf.net slash school. There you go, Bill. Hey Marcus, my name is Bill Canodal. I'm a golf instructor here at Windstar Golf Academy. Hey, thanks so much for sending your videos and your swings in to Brendan. Brendan forwarded them on to me and I thought we could give you a little bit of a analysis of what's going on in your swing and maybe give you a little bit of a head start before uh, you come here to the golf school. We're excited to have you. And so uh, looking forward to, to that. The biggest thing I see with you, the part that you probably don't like the, the, the most is, or that you dislike the most, I should say, is it's probably this here at Impact because uh, you don't have any shaft lean. So you're not getting any good contact on the ball and compression on the ball with any true loft of your club. Most of the reason for that is because of your body and the position of your body in the golf swing. So I've got a model here up on the left. This is a buddy of mine, Rod Pampling. Uh, he's a pretty good model. I'm not saying you have to get as far forward as he is at the setup, but let's just talk about some of the things that are causing your issues. So what I see mostly is it's your setup. You're, you're really oriented. Everything is onto your right leg. So at the setup, your head is really far behind the ball and most of your weight is on your right leg already. And if you can see with Rodney here, he's a little bit more forward with the setup with his hips and his head is slightly behind the ball. If I draw a line straight down. So, to me, the whole goal of the golf swing is to to finish where you start. And by that mean, what I mean is, is you want your skeleton to stay, stay where it starts, okay? But you don't want it to, do it, it to start so far back. So what you do here when you go back is you're going to get really wide on your backswing. So your arms are going to go further away from your torso than they were at the start. And what that does is pulls you around uh, your head backwards quite a ways. So you've got this big wide takeaway, which everyone's a lot of people are teaching – teaching people to do and most of your weight even increases more onto your right leg your head goes backwards almost the whole entire foot and then then when you go ahead and finish your swing then you're going to come out of your posture and raise up out of your posture so even further back behind it now so you've got a long way to go to get back to a really good impact position in fact there's no way from there that you can get back to a, a solid impact position because you just have too far to travel so if i draw a line up from your left foot and I draw a line up from Rod's left foot. Now, you watch when he goes back, his hands are going to stay the same distance from his chest all the way around throughout his whole swing. So that's going to keep his body centered and coiled, but he's centered and staying in the same position where he starts. And that's what I'm talking about as far as keeping your skeleton, make sure it finishes where it starts. So if I draw a line up from his left foot straight up, you can see um, he doesn't have a whole lot far – he doesn't have very far to go to get back to a good impact position. You are going to have to travel or catch a cab and go a long way to get back to where impact is, and you're never going to get there. So you can slide your hips forward, uh, but, but being back there, what's going to happen is you're not in a throwing position or a throwing angle, as I like to call it. This, to me, is a throwing angle, and that's what we like to get people into at the top of their backswing. Again, you don't have to start as far forward as Rod does, but wherever you start, when you're centered, you want to stay centered and learn how to coil that, that way. So coming down, you're going to have to cast the club. And, of course, by the time the club gets down to the ball, your club head is going to pass your grip. And that's simply just because of the position of the body. You, you can't do anything else from here. You can try to fake it and force it and get, your, get the grip end pushed more forward, but with your body leaning back that far, uh, the momentum of the club swinging down, the weight of the club head at that speed – 
it's going to pass the grip and you're going to you're going to flip it coming through so you'll have that look coming down with rodney coming down all he has to do really from here is is pressure his left leg so he's pushing from his right to his left and then swinging the arms down you can see the tremendous amount of lag he's going to develop on the way down and that's just simply because of the position of where his body is in space so Coming down, you can see the bow he's putting on that shaft, and this is just immediately in before impact, and quite a bit of shaft lean, obviously. And he's going to compress the ball with, with the true loft of the club. Yours is going to start to pass the grip, and then afterward, I'm going to be flipping. Okay? But the main cause, again, is just position of the body so we want to be up past through that line and impact all the great ball strikers really cover the ball and compress the ball because their body is in that position when when they hit and then from there the body can just go around finish facing the target you're gonna your weight's gonna stay back in your back leg right foot stays flat footed and you're just gonna have to flip and and let your arms just kind of swing and your body kind of stalls out. But that, again, that's just a product of where you set up and how you turn on the backswing. Hey Marcus, so the first thing I think we need to do is, is fix your setup. You've got a lot of your weight back here on your right side. You're really oriented back on your right leg. So you're kind of sitting back on your right leg. And then as you move back, you get really wide with your arms going back, which pulls your head around too far. And then when you go up, you get slightly tilted this way. And coming down, you keep too much weight back here. Going to cast the club and then look like this at impact. You add loft to the club and just not hit it through that window that we want every time. So to get the setup right, just, just put your arms straight out here like you're basically an airplane level. And then you want to just, if you just push your hips forward just a little bit until your right shoulder goes a little lower, you bring your hands together. And that's what you want to, that's kind of a nice centered setup that you want to set up as. And then you can just grip the club after you have that. Now from there, what I want you to do is just start swinging your arms like this. And you can see as you're doing that, your arms are going to, they're obviously they're connected to my shoulder. They're going to pull me around a little bit like that into a turn. You don't need to go wider with the arms going back. So then you grab your club, start swinging your club a little bit. And as you swing your arms up, let, the, let that just pull you around into a turn. And you can see my skeleton, my body staying in the same position. I'm just coiling around my spine. So you want to turn against your right leg. You don't want to turn onto your right leg. That's what you're doing. You're setting up onto your right leg, moving back onto your right leg even more. You want to set up and, with this leg angled a bit. So when you turn and coil, you're, you're coiling into your right leg, pressuring it, but you're not on it. That's what keeps you centered. So work on that. I think that'll help you a lot um, because we're coming down. If your body's in this position, when you swing your arms down, you're going to get that nice shaft lean and compress the ball that we like to have and the look that we like to do when we hit those good shots. So work on that and uh, we'll see you at the school. We'll keep you guys updated on Marcus's progress. Like I said, it's something new that we're doing so that it's not just a two-day school, it's really a two-month school with the two-day golf school right in the middle of it. So if you're interested in joining us at the Windstar Golf Academy for the Be Better Golf School on May 18th and May 19th and getting your pre-assessment done and starting this journey with us, go to bebettergolf.net slash school or just send me an email, contactbebettergolf at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.